And I never mentioned that. Yeah, I guess that would be a good idea to not mention that. Hi. You got a dollar? Hi guys, so it's um, as you can see it's um, it's midnight, it's a little after midnight. <laughs> um, and I had this idea, it's kind of stupid, but aren't they all? Um, I want to just tell my mom things that I've never told her before, see how she reacts. I asked her if that would be a good idea, and she was like, well, I might just have to tell you some things. Yeah! What, 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 what am I about to find out? And I just, I just had to turn on my camera and talk this out to be like, am I sure I want to do this? Am I sure I want to confess my deepest, darkest secrets on the internet? Of course I do. So I will, I'll see you in a few days when this all happens. This is just, this is just therapy. Talking to my camera makes me feel better and not so crazy, even though I am standing alone in a room talking to myself. Right. Um, hi, so it's the next day. We're gonna film this today, and I thought of what I want to tell her. I'm a little nervous. It's gonna be the story of the time I literally, oh, I don't want her to listen to me. I don't want her to hear what I'm saying because I want it to be a surprise. What a great surprise to hear. Um, that one time I almost burned the house down, like I literally caught the house on fire. I put it out, but like it almost happened. And I'm kind of scared for her reaction because I told her we're gonna do this video and she's been writing down things that she's gonna confess to me And now I'm like what's about to happen? What's about to go down? I'm so nervous, but okay, I guess maybe in the next clip we'll be doing it. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh Hi before we filmed this I forgot to shave and Unfortunately, I look like a rodent. Okay, I look like someone covered me in glue and rolled me around the floor of a barber shop so I look disgusting, please, please, do everything you can to ignore that. I am such a disgrace. Anyways, please, enjoy. Eventually. Hello, we're here, we're in the car, we're having a good time, and I know she's been preparing for this, so have I. Are you ready? Okay. So one thing, I feel like, should I go first? I feel like I should go first. You better. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. So, a long time ago, when we first moved here to Arkansas, we had a TV in my room, mm -hmm. and I blamed this on the move, and so did dad, because he thought that's what it was too. But the TV that was in my room, I thought it would be a good idea to go get a rock from outside and carve into the screen. So that's why it was messed up. Why did you do that? I don't know. I just... I, like your was, initials? I something. It was like an impulsive thought, and my mind was like, you just need to do this, so I did it. Wow. Did it work out for you? It, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> if you guys made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment secrets to be the shout out in the next video. Shout out to everyone from the last video that commented. Bam. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing. All right. We're going to get back to the video right now. I've got like 72 things. So. Oh my gosh. I, I only have two. I've lived a, a lot longer than you. So I mean, mine just keep adding up. That's true. So we've got, you got me there. We've got situation here. Okay. So do you want to hear about the dissected frog, egging cars, the lancet blood test in school, the guinea pig pellets and the brownies that I gave the teacher? the drive-by coffee caking or that I backed into a car and left which one <laughs> <laughs> oh okay the, the the egging one stuck out to me a little bit and there's another one about the brownies yeah what happened there okay when I was in fifth grade oh I'm at fourth grade I, I I was really a good student and I was just so quiet and innocent and shy and everything but I did not like my teacher and she was always picking on me for some reason and mm -hmm. so I thought well I'll do something really <laughs> nice and so i baked her some brownies at the time we had guinea pig pellets so i i mixed guinea pig pellets in it and gave them to her is she alive she's alive it's they're just alfalfa so it was it was nothing that was going to hurt anybody I, I wasn't going to hurt anybody but it was just a little joke you know just just my way of getting back at somebody that was kind of mean to me so. oh my I gosh know. and I this know. is just this is um this is just coming is, out now yeah that's kind of crazy um this is something that happened uh i want to say not that long ago i guess i think i must have been 15. do you need to put a mask on before you tell no. me no. Okay. okay, I think I was 15. We lived in the lake house, our first lake house. Mm -hmm. I was live streaming on you now and oh, I saw a spider in the corner and obviously like you now you want to be entertaining So I was like, what's the most entertaining way I can kill the spider? So I took a lighter oh. and hairspray <gasps> And I sprayed the spider and the carpet caught on fire 
No. So I had to spring into action and I had to kind of suppress the fire because it was quite large. And I had to take my pillow and kind of get rid of the fire. And that was the story of the time I almost burned our last house down. And I never mentioned that. Yeah, I guess that would be a good idea to not mention that. Holy cow. Okay. Oh my gosh. And that is the only time I ever needed to learn to never use lighters Did you like Again. move your bed over the burn spot or what? So for some reason, there was never really a burn spot. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I guess the carpet got a little bit crusty or something, but other than that, no one ever noticed. Because your clothes are always all over the floor. That's, hey, well, <laughs> no, but yes. So now you know that. Now I know. You wanna hear about the frog dissecting, the egging the cars, the drive-by coffee caking, or backed into a car and left. Who provoked you to throw eggs at their car? Oh, I was just a kid. I was like in the um, sixth grade and I was staying at a friend's house and she had this beautiful old big house with a big porch and so we would kind of duck behind it. It was on a main drag and so I didn't know at the time what eggs could do to the paint on a car and I, I wouldn't have done it but you know but I was a really good um, softball player and so I had really good aim and so everybody was throwing these eggs you know they'd miss and whatever but I didn't miss I I smacked this car really good and it came to a screeching halt and threw it into reverse and was coming and I tore off and I went up into the third story of this old house and crawled under a bed they could never find me oh my god they never found me so yeah well the congratulations you never got caught I, d I never got caught okay that just reminded me of something that, oh no <laughs> that I did to do with a car okay at our first house here in Arkansas I remember I was outside playing with my friend and a car was driving by and I took one of their plastic toys and I threw it at the car and I don't know why I thought that was a good idea but then the car stopped and the person got out and like yelled and dad found out and of course he was upset with me but he was more upset with the lady that was yelling at me even though she had good reason to but then she also like put her hands on me which is like that's also not okay so, she did? Yeah, she grabbed my arms and was like, you can't do that. I was just terrified. I was like six or seven. I don't know. You were probably seven. Yeah, she was trying to Second beat me lady. up or something, this old lady. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I threw a coffee cake at a car one time. The old lady, was. she was driving really, really slowly in a two-lane highway, and I was just so frustrated with her. And this highway just, it just went on forever. It was like up at Mount Rainier or something. And so... Um, then there's this really long bridge and I got behind her on the bridge and it's still two lanes But on the other side of the bridge, it's where it had a passing lane And so I had had this breakfast at a restaurant in the morning, you know that morning and I had this huge coffee cake that I had brought with me saving for later and so as soon as you know, I got to a point to where I was just, just a little ahead of her. I rolled down the window and just lambasted her windshield with this coffee cake and it just exploded. Oh! I, I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, she she knew how to drive 75 miles an hour after that. You know, she was coming after me. Holy cow! I know. What is it with us in cars? I don't know. We just, I mean, okay, I guess I can say another thing about a car. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, this is the only, I think this is the last thing I would think of. This is the last thing I have, but we lived here actually and it was my first car and I don't know know how I managed to do this but when our driveway okay our driveway is very odd it's very steep and it's kind of hard to manage I was backing up and I backed up into a tree so hard here yeah mm. which tree I don't know that's how that's what confuses me <laughs> and then there's no marks I have a like, history of that I had a deer run into me and there was no debt in the car and wow I don't know if I've never dented a car wow anything else nope that's it for me hmm okay well how do you feel? How do you feel? Especially about the fire one. Glad you put it out. Yeah, me too. That was terrifying. And the fact that it happened on live stream and no one seemed to care. Nobody noticed it on live stream? I guess not. I probably got off right away because I didn't know how to <laughs> Nothing react. Nothing to see here. Yeah, literally. So many things have happened on live stream. My pants ripped on live stream. That was crazy. Well, whatever. What can I say? Well, should I, should I tell you the one about the frog dissection? Sure. Okay. Well, I don't know if when I was in junior high, what was called junior high, then it was like seventh or eighth grade. I think it's eighth grade. Um, we dissected frogs. I don't know if they still do that. Do they still do yeah, that? Yeah, I did it. Okay. Anyway, so we were dissecting frogs, and of course, the teacher was kind of obnoxious, you know. So, we, uh, you know, we were just having fun. We were just doing our own thing, and we found out that the eyes bounced like Super Balls. You know, they just, they just, oh, they bounce like no. a Super Ball. <laughs> so everybody was <laughs> digging the eyes out of these frogs, and when the teacher had his back turned, we would kind of bounce them up and hit the teacher. Oh, my God. Mom, you can't do that. <laughs> did you ever get, like, detention or anything? 
anything for things like that? No. Me either. Because, see, I was very shy and I never got caught because I always look very innocent. Oh my gosh, me too. Woo! <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to my mom for being in this video. Um, I know it, you know it means a lot to me every time she's in my videos because <laughs> you guys seem to like her more than you like me, so that's great. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure they to leave might not anymore. <laughs> that's okay. No, they still will. They're gonna love you even more now, if <laughs> anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave that big thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the bell so you know when I post my next video. Thank you guys for everything. I love you so much. Peace. Bye.